what about the study material what study material to follow well ma'am i followed only the bare acts okay. just the bare acts but okay. i understand that there might be certain people who find it hard to read because bare acts are quite dry right companies act if you say this quite monotonous and quite dry you need a lot of motivation to stick to it daily so i understand that some people might need notes in the beginning but in the end i recommend to stick to the bare acts only even if at the initial level you take help of notes or some coaching institutions even i exam b provides various notes on companies act it it provides video lectures and securities law also like for all the subjects they have video lectures and all but when come when it comes to the final examination i would strongly recommend sticking to the bare act because the question directly comes from the bare act so making to the final list only depends on how many times you have read that bare act you might also get certain questions wherein you have to fill in their sentences you have to complete their sentences for that no notes would help you only if you have read the bare act 10 or 12 times you might be able to complete their sentences right but uh, but i personally find mocks very helpful mock is i think because half of this mcq any computer based mcq type question paper half of the strategy strategy depends on how you solve the question paper so mocks are very essential and what about the paper 1 in phase 1 uh quant reasoning english ga how to go about its preparation yes ma'am uh all right so ma'am can we first discuss the notification process sure 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 yeah. uh so right. many students are asking when will the notification now come so yes. what do you think can be the answer to that so yeah this is a very pertinent question i and i entirely agree that you do not get motivation till the notification is out Right. right but this is a very wrong approach because say there are certain vested interests even if even if they are your competitors they might be interested in spreading rumors that notification might not come this year right even when i gave this examination in 2021 i had faced a lot of uh, this Uh, trauma that people were spreading rumors that notification will not come again cyber cyber recruits only twice uh, once in every two years but let me assure you that when will sebi recruit next only the hr department of sebi knows right nobody knows how many vacancies will be there nobody knows when the notification will come out nobody knows uh, like uh, like what what will be the examination date but i agree it is a gamble you start now you given a lot of time and you given a lot of effort you might take more time than others because notification has not come but let me assure you that it is a gamble worth making all right even if you start now right you always you will always have a upper hand if i had given into rumors back in 2021 i would not have feared it this time because the notification that time was quite sudden right there was no gossip no rumors that the notification is about to come and the notification came in december right people were even saying that notification will come in april they were giving all sorts of calculations that okay 1.5 year is this now 1.5 year is that but that is that is all useless so best time to start is to start now if you want to definitely clear it because say so i'll tell you an inside of fact uh the entire selected candidates of ur category the entire 10 or 12 selected candidates lie in 2.5 marks difference right so 0.25 difference can also make you kick you out of the list so start now b a perfectionist in what you are doing it's a good thing that the, the, even if the notification does not come this year december it is a good thing because you get more time to prepare so you can prepare till may but make sure that you get the selection and so we were talking about the paper one part yes ma'am 
So paper one part involves four sections. What is one is uh, current affairs, one is uh, quant, third is reasoning, and English. And, uh, English. English. Correct. So what I did personally that I did not study for any of these till the time notification came up okay. because in SEBI, yeah, I know it is quite risky. But what I observe is that in SEBI, you only have to get 30 marks in this paper. Right. Out of 100, you have to get just 30 marks. Right. So, and in both my attempts, I have got zero in quant because I did not attempt a single question of quant. And neither did I waste any of the time in attempting or practicing what is not helping me into getting final list. Right. right. So... For paper one, I would suggest play on your strengths. So my strength was English and reason. For what I did, from the time of notification, I started practicing a mock daily. All right. There are a lot of coaching institutes and mock tests which will be available. for At least for phase one, paper one, you will get a lot of mocks. Even if you get I give IBPS SO mocks, it is quite overlapping because the kind of questions are, are similar. Right. And the level of accuracy these mocks give about the type of question that is going to come is commendable. Right. Because they will not ask you any other question apart from the questions which are given in these mocks. Right. So what I did, I personally took three uh, mock tests, mock series. First is I exam B free mocks. All right, there are three, five mocks given for phase one, paper one for everybody. I did those. I did practice, uh, yeah, practice mock. Oh. Yeah, practice mock and test book. These are two other uh, institutes which provide paper one mock, paper one phase one mock at a quite reasonable price. So I think that is that should be accessible to everybody. Also, uh, so as I said, for phase one, paper one, you just have to play on your strengths. You do not need to devote much time to it. People devote, I have seen people devoting entire months for current affairs. You do not need this for that. All right. If you are prepared well enough for paper, you just have to get 80 marks in both the papers. Like out of 200 marks, you just need to get 80 marks. All right. So I recommend practicing every day a single mock. At the time of examination, like, so if you an example, the exam is going to held, to be held at 9 o'clock. You start your mock at 9 o'clock so that your brain is in the habit of remaining active in that period. Right. right. So, uh, yeah. So start practicing mock till from the time the notification comes. And even if you are not confident into, uh, you know, not preparing, preparing anything for a phase one, paper one. So you can do one thing. You can read current affairs of three months. From the time of notification, I would recommend going back three months and start reading current affairs. Uh, since then, till uh, before 10 days of the examination. Say, for example, examination is on 20th. You need to read current affairs till 10th. All right. So uh, for current affairs, I used uh, Bpedia. I exam B Bpedia. It is quite informative. Uh, also, there is one Hindu review. Right. You can uh, do that if you do not have much time. Like me, I did not. I do not want. I did not want to give uh, a lot of time to current affairs. So what I did, I read uh, this Hindu review. It's only a 30, 35 page document, which you can easily finish in two to three days. So you just need to read three of those documents and you will easily score 10 to 12 in a, in the 25 marks current affairs section. Okay. And uh, what about say, the law part? Since the major chunk is from law and we need uh, preparation for paper two, both in phase one and in phase two. So one thing you have already yes. suggested to go for bare acts and even you have yes. to read the bare acts again and again. So apart from bare acts, what all sources to practice? Because you need mocks and questions from that also. Yes, correct. So, just a second. Yeah. For what I did for paper two, 
is that one 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 thing i am uh, remembering for phase 1 paper 1 what i did used to target was that i targeted a say score of 50 in all my mocks right if i am getting 50 marks in my mocks you rest assured you will easily get 40 marks in the actual examination you might also get more because sometimes say for example i exam b mocks they are usually in a higher difficulty level Yes. So you can easily, if if you are getting on, uh, like say for example, forty five in I exam B marks, you are quite, you should be quite confident that you will clear this phase one paper one thing. All right. Now for paper two, what I did, I did not study anything specifically for phase one at all. Okay. Since the time I started preparing, I started preparing for phase two paper two. Right. That is all. right there are certain sections say for example contract acts which is quite different in phase 1 and phase 2 like uh phase 2 syllabus is all together excluded in phase 1 and uh, vice versa right so i did not study phase 1 syllabus at all even in that scenario because i quite i was quite confident that okay fine if if i complete phase 2 syllabus i will be easily uh, scoring around 40 to 50 marks in this paper or even more than that i did actually score 90 marks in phase 1 paper 2 right okay so because phase 1 paper 2 is quite easy right? right even if you are a third year student in your five year integrated law course you will clear phase 1 paper 2 if if you give it sincerely what law students usually encounter difficulty in just paper 1 of phase 1 right so that for which i have given a full proof strategy all right after that now when we come to phase 2 paper 2 i'll i'll go to the descriptive part later on okay. right you can approach it that way right it, it entirely depends on how you are comfortable studying the bare act or studying the notes then the bare acts or watching the videos then the bare act but ultimately one has to come to the bare act okay and what about ibps so then there are banking laws in ibps so and even some more acts like rti competition uh, you have to study these for ibps so so how to approach these part what i did ma'am for ibps so apart from the sebi syllabus sebi syllabus particularly i did not make any notes because one thing i noticed that whenever i used to make notes i used to substitute the bare acts for my notes which is very wrong because you are nobody to judge uh, to judge what is important and what is not and what sebi might ask so do not make notes at all if you want to do something to in order to better remember it you just write on the margins of the bare acts anything which you might feel important i used to write entire sections again so that when i read it i read it twice again yeah. right so uh, you do not uh, need to make notes for sebi what i did apart from sebi syllabus for ibps as well is that i used to make notes my target was that only the important things like for example in negotiable instrument say what is the penalty uh, how much deposit has to be make, made if one has to go into appeal this these details sarfesi uh, ka what is the procedure like uh, how many days creditor gets before taking position how many uh, day debtor gets for you know giving clarification okay. also what is the section number so my target was that depending upon the paper uh, depending depending upon the pages one bare act has so for example sarfesi it has 60 pages right so my target was that uh, the entire note should come into three pages that is all only the objective part only the certain things which of which mcq can be made right. only those parts okay. so i used to write and my entire ibps so notes were completed of around 15 or 16 acts i studied it was completed in around 18 pages right so it hardly uh, it ha- it used to take me hardly an hour or two to revise the entire ibps so syllabus apart from what i did for sebi okay and uh, rohan so you prepared for upsc then you uh, shifted to other niche areas for legal ibps sebi so any things that you experienced any certain points that you can guide the students through 
for to keep in mind and while preparing how you kept yourself motivated because it's a continuous process you missed yeah. by uh, only 1.25 marks in uh, the previous notification so again yeah. you will have to motivate yourself so uh, any certain things that you felt uh, you want to share with the aspirants yes ma'am i understand it it might be quite disheartening to be unemployed for a long time also when you have re- received such a professional degree such as law you can easily get a job anywhere if even if i wanted i could have got a job and my friends were working and it is i know it it i understand it is it might be quite demotivating for you to just sit and study after studying for 5 years so and also there is uh, one aspect of uncertainty that you do not know when will you clear any of such examinations or will you clear it or not or right. but trust me hard work pays off right i have graduated in 2019 i did nothing but study for two years at least one year i sat down to study for civil services one year i did for sebi but if you have you are done with say you have to clear your priorities you have to get your priorities right right if you want just to get an employment you are matlab you can easily go in and get an employment you have a professional degree anybody will pay you at least a good sustainable amount but if your priority is to clear any of these examinations especially in the government sector your priority number 1 should be that Let's say what i did after my first attempt in sebi when i was quite confident that i had cleared the syllabus right there is nothing more the cost benefit ratio of devoting further time is not that high so i took up freelance work i used to take uh, in a clad coaching i used to teach i used to give out lectures so you can do that easily also there is certain freelance legal content writing which might keep you interested also you will be making something so you will be motivated that is true also you can pursue your hobbies it's it's there's no harm if you like going to the gym you like swimming you like jogging you like listening to music you like watching movies i do not discriminate in any of these i personally used to watch movies like after day of stressful study i uh, used to make sure that i watch at least one movie per day so you know that was something to look forward to at the end of the day you know like okay fine chalo isko jaldi khatam karte hain but so that i can watch him right so yes. target yourself like if if you are not uh, working you can easily uh, study 8 hours a day i say 8 hours a day should be more than enough if you give it over a long period of time it accumulates a lot so target yourself wait hours a day do whatever you have to do i i did not if i say i i sat and study i did not sit and study particularly i used to roam i used to hang out with my friends and everything there is no such kind of prohibition which is you know uh, burdened upon you that okay fine because you are studying because you have to clear examination you do not get to live your life it is there is no such thing right all right so whatever keeps you motivated you do that there is no set pattern for you know a straight jacket formula which fits all okay so uh, rohan that was really very insightful and i hope it will help a lot of aspirants to prepare further for sebi ibps or any other exam so thank you so much for taking out your time to share Ma'am, your uh, I, i i i we you did not to... come to we did yes. not come to the descriptive part okay sorry i forgot so yes about the descriptive yes, english so how yes, did ma'am. you prepare for english a uh, descriptive the essays comprehension precis so i was uh, particularly very weak in descriptive means i don't i am not weak in writing as such but i do not know till date what sebi wants okay. or say even even sebi or rbi say in that matter what they want when they ask for descriptive english all right so in my first attempt i scored a decent marks of 60 in descriptive english and in my second attempt i scored 56 all right but one thing i made sure was that i analyzed all the cutoffs all the scores which previous year candidates used to get 
so i noticed that the entire marks which people get in descriptive english ranges between 50 to 70 that is all okay. all right so even if you put in a lot of effort for your descriptive english you might hardly gain 5 or 6 marks and in sebi particularly it out of say 85 marks we scale it down in sebi we scale it down right so descriptive english has weightage of 1/3 in sebi right and 1/3 also that of 85 marks means even if you score 100 out of 100 in descriptive english which is not humanly possible you will only get 28.33 marks out of 85 marks right right wherein if you score 100 out of 100 in your phase 2 paper 2 you will get 56.66 marks so that is a huge difference here right so 